it's getting to the point where you don't even have any privacy or like right off the bat, even before you're old enough to get online, your parents are creating your profiles for you and who your persona is and who right. you are and what you are, mm -hmm. what your religious affiliation is, what your gender is, what all that stuff is, is all assumed for you, not only in your home and family and community, but now to the whole world before you're even old enough. Right. And as technology goes on, we have this virtual reality world coming. We have uh, artificial intelligence. We have uh, augmented reality where uh, you put these, you know, uh, you have the glasses that you put on or you hold up your phone and it projects images into reality that aren't actually there, like yeah. holographic three-dimensional images and things uh, that you can interact with mostly like as games and things or educational stuff. But eventually that stuff's going to become integrated like, with biotechnology and yeah. different things. And like our grandkids, our great grandkids might not like as hard as it is now to, to find out who am I and, and to get to the core of that and to really dig into like your own conscious thoughts and really contemplating that and finding peace of mind. Our, our grandkids, kids might be, growing up in a world that's so augmented yeah. with their online profiles and this augmented reality and virtual reality that not only their religion and culture and where they were raised is augmented into mm -hmm. who they are from the get-go, right. but this whole online digital universe is augmented into the way that they think that who they are right off the bat. And to be able to peel all that back and not get lost in all those illusions of society. Yeah. Uh, getting, getting lost in all that is what's brought me here now. What are all those augmentations that you're running on? Yeah. That's what we were talking about at the beginning. You're raised up or you hold these different augmented realities, not just in your vision, because we all know, like anybody watching this that knows what, or listening to this podcast that knows what augmented reality is, um, you're going through life, whether you like it or not, with layers and layers and layers of that augmented view of perception mm -hmm. uh, that when you're awake, that you say, oh, I am Carl. I was born in this place and I do this. And you're thinking these thoughts in English and you go to work and you dress this way and you're playing this role that you've kind of a, uh, have been augmented with. Yeah. In a lot of ways. And unless you can peel all that back and get behind all that, you are inevitably going to lead to dissonance and confusion and depression and anxiety because you're living a life of someone that you're not. And you're trying to be somebody who you're not and you're becoming something who you're not meant to become. And you are literally lost. You can be completely lost uh, in inside in incredibly complicated circumstances to the likes of which you don't even know the thoughts or emotions in your own head or your own mind and where they're coming from or who they are, or if they're even me or who that is or what I'm doing here. And, and eventually until you can separate from all of that or find methods or ways or tools, which for some people is religion and spirituality through other people, it's meditation through other people. It's just like an ego death awakening there's all sorts of ways. Some people use psychedelics, some people, uh, all sorts of different ways and methods, but everybody, it seems, even the person who gets up, puts on a suit and tie and goes to work to his office all day, who's not even questioning any of this stuff or thinking about it at all, everybody is trying desperately and doing everything that they're doing to arrive at something, to yeah. arrive at some point of feeling of like they've made it. And I'm here to say with this podcast and with every guest that we have on this podcast, I want to explore what that is. What is that common thread for you? What is it for me? What is the universal truth that all of us doing all the variety of different things in the world from all of our different universal independent perspectives, where are we all trying to get? What are we doing it all for? 
what is that common vein that runs through the shared human experience that we hope to achieve and arrive at someday? And can that it be achieved in this life? Or is this life never ending? For me, it's are always we, changing. Are we living this the eternal now? Yeah. Like that's in just this flowing dance of imagination? Or is it like Alan Watts kind of says in the core of Hindu teaching is, is like that all of this physical reality is coming through you. You're in it and it is you all at the same time. And you're lost in it like a game of lost and found and hide and seek. And you've put yourself here because if you lived forever through eternity, what else is there to do? <laughs> 